So I've got banana French toast for breakfast. With some fried eggs and salad. So, favourite breakfast so far. It's going to be normal French toast. I'm not so keen on the banana French toast, it's a bit too sweet. But if you're going to have that, I recommend mango with it. They don't always have mango here, so you could get your own mango outside and they'll cut it up for you in the kitchen because mango is a little bit hard to, to deal with. <laughs> Bud's just translating the menu from Japanese to English for his daughter, or from English to Japanese. <laughs> Gone for a banana pancake. So that's breakfast all over. It's a lovely dining room. Got a map of Sapa there, the famous hill tribe area in the north. This is Halong Bay. They can do boat cruises, which is only a few hours from Hanoi. Out in the ocean. I might go there at some point. Little Japanese girl was finding it really hard to eat her breakfast because I think she's used to eating chopsticks and her dad was there but not helping her so <laughs> I gave her a spoon. She seemed to appreciate that. <laughs> the thing about Japanese is they're very shy so and they're over polite. They're polite to a point of they'll cause themselves problems like the girl was using a knife and fork to eat a pancake and she's obviously not used to using a knife and a fork I don't know she's about probably about nine ten years old um, I don't get it the parents like left her alone to eat a breakfast for the majority of a breakfast like can't you come and sit with your daughter and have breakfast the whole day like, don't understand some people do not understand some people Just on my way to the bank over there, I chatted to this guy the other day. Someone's got an electric go kart, that's pretty cool, very basic, nice colours. Beautiful Friday morning, Western girl there jogging around the lake. Open top bus tours about to go around, but I've seen most of the places that are on that tour. Oh, there's a Korean barbecue. I was looking for Korean food yesterday. No, thank you, darling. I was looking for a Korean barbecue yesterday. I must have walked right past that place with the Korean barbecue sign just there. I'm going to have a look now, see what the menu's like. But um, they come around selling fried treats, like their sweet fried sweets. I don't eat fried food unless it's special. Yeah, so the one one of the things I'm looking forward to about leaving Hanoi is not being approached by people. So in the space of 20 meters there, taxi drivers just offered me a taxi. Then a guy's come up and wanted to clean my shoes, even though I don't need cleaning. Two people tried me to sell me fans. They're really nice paper fans. I, just, I don't need a fan. I, I might buy some to send home at some point, but. You're getting that literally all day in Hanoi. The place I'm going to next week without tourists. You're getting that never, basically. Never. Oh, selling an annoying rattle. <laughs> this is such a beautiful scene. The bridge over to the island on the lake. with the music playing gently in the background. Oh. Bit of a rainy morning this morning. I went out to get some fresh bread from my bread bakery. 
but um, it's cooled it off nicely, it's not too hot. Just gonna go to my coffee shop now. Got some soy milk from here this morning, which is really nice because they don't put loads of sugar in like we do in Thailand. I mean, I can ask for it without sugar in Thailand, but it's nice here you don't have to ask because they don't put sugar in. <laughs> and back, home sweet home. Home sweet home. Xin chào. Xin chào. Xin chào. Xin chào. Chào buổi sáng. Good morning. It's all action here today. Had breakfast already. Well, that's what's left. Let's check they're working in the kitchen. We don't want anyone slacking off. Tamian Nakmek, you working? Working hard? Hi. Good morning. Chào mừng. Oh hi all. This one has a lot to say for itself. Oh, what are you eating? Soy. 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 Zao. 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 Which is going on top of... Is that fish? Ga It's chicken, right? Oh my god. Oh. Little fish. They're probably actually okay, but yeah. <laughs> Smell the fish right now. Ain't what I'm looking for. Right. See you later. So, uh, just doing my daily banking. Oh, just put, put some cash in my um, wallet. I don't carry any of my cards with me. They all stay in my safe, locked away. Um, basically, at the moment, I'm taking out a million dong a day in cash with me, um, which is about 30 pounds, about 34 US dollars. My hotel room is about 18 pounds a night. So my budget basically is about 50 pounds a day but that's my budget I don't have to spend it it's there if I want it if I want to go over it for some reason I've got a good reason to spend more than that I can spend more than that I can spend a lot more than that if I want to but that's a kind of reasonable budget and to be honest um, I've been here about eight days now yeah this is my eighth full day I think um, I don't think I've spent my full budget once so <laughs> even going out like last night I went out and had a few beers and um, yeah, still came home with half my budget left. So, yeah, it's lovely here. You can do so much for so little. Uh, I'm going to go for coffee now. Like yesterday, I think I had two normal coffees, Dendar black coffees with ice. And then I had a special coconut coffee with green beans. And the total for that was... Uh, about three pounds or <laughs> just over three pounds like and that's sitting there i can i sat in that coffee shop yesterday for like three hours doing stuff on the computer so yeah um and then yeah i went out for lunch yesterday it was like a pound 50 for my clay pot rice thing or two pounds with drinks um yeah it's just oh it's so bloody nice here right so I've been to the bank for the fourth time this week. So now I've paid for my motorbike rental. I shouldn't have to go to the bank again for at least 10 days. So until it's Friday today, next week I'll be fine for cash. The following week I might need some then, but that's nice now. I can just chill. Um, I've got to book a flight to Taiwan. I was going to do that tomorrow, Saturday. But I think I'll leave it till the next Saturday. There's loads of flights available. The price isn't going to change that much. I'll wait till I get to my quiet mountain town and do it there. Um, yeah. Let's go. Right, it's about half nine, ten o'clock in the morning. Just tried my new deodorant that I bought yesterday. 
because my old one from England, from Morrison's, literally ran out this morning. So, got a new one. Had a lovely breakfast. I've been to the bank. I've got five million dong out, 150 pounds roughly. Now I'm going to the coffee shop to edit and upload some photos. This afternoon I'm going to edit a video. Tonight I might go out again. Cleaners are waiting to get into my room. Look. They knocked five minutes ago. I was in the shower. I told them I'll be five minutes and I'll get out of their way. So all she's going to do is she'll come in, she'll change the towels, she'll make the bed. I don't know if I change the sheets. I don't ask. They might. I don't really notice. Um, and uh, if they'll give me two bottles of water. I haven't used the tea and coffee, so if, if I have, they'll replace that every day. Um, yeah, they'll just give it a quick clean it's a bit clean room it's, they'll empty the bins obviously i've got one bin there and one bin in my bathroom it's full of empty cans of beer because i had a bit of a drink off before i went out last night so it's full of beer hanoi in saigon <laughs> right let's go to the coffee shop see that whole team of cleaners so i've got let's got her own card so she can get the air con on Okay. Take a note. Oh, they do change the billing. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. See you later. Hang up, lie. Beautiful street scene. Look, the trees are wrapped in fairy lights. <laughs> it's like a government office. This is the restaurant where I've had dinner a couple of times. In fact, there's something else on the menu I might try tonight that I've been looking at. Beef dish. Let's make sweet treats in there. Right, my coffee shop, my hotel's just back there. A couple hundred meters on the right. But I just cross over the super highway and then I'm in a much quieter area, a much more local area. I'm really looking forward to getting out of the city. Oh, this looks good. I'll come and try that. Those, oh yeah, Thai chicken curry. That looks good. Beef stew. I've had beef stew before in Vietnam. That is really good. Boham lagu. Okay, I must I'll come back and have that. Yeah, I'm leaving the city on Monday, so I've got, it's Friday today, a few more days in the big city, and then I'm out into the countryside, and uh, I know they're going to love having me back there in that little town, they love having the little foreigner wandering around, so yeah, it's going to be nice. So just crossing the road to go to my coffee shop, got a nice little thing on the wall. I'm in my little neighbourhood, you can see it. It's a lot quieter than it is over the other side there. And I go upstairs. It's really nice. What I do is I put my computer upstairs, I order my coffee, and I come in here and get some water. So I like to top the coffee up with water to water it down because it's so strong. I also like to top my water glass up without having to walk downstairs. It's only 5,000, which is like 20p. 17 piece good fresh meat here you can get like steak chicken breast quite inexpensive and hygienic CP is actually a Thai brand cherry out so cooking up some fresh food and they're eating it thank you that's so polite here you really are you occasionally get some older people that like I don't want you to take my photo but it's really rare so my hotel is just there and that's the sandwich place I like to use I'm going to the gym I haven't got much energy but I'm just going to do a bit of stretching and I'll hit the bag real lightly it's the thing about using the punch bag you don't have to hit it hard you can hit it light if you haven't got much energy like I haven't today it's a nice rhythmical exercise and uh, I like boxing and running because when I'm doing those two things it completely takes up my mental capacity I don't think it's a bit like meditation 
I stopped thinking logically. I'm just in the flow. Right, home sweet home. So I'm gonna have a shower and then go to the gym. My fridge is well stocked. I've got milk, lots of water. I've got some sushi to use up from last night. Well, that might be Korean, it's like sushi. I've got some leftover duck, some leftover rice. I'm gonna buy a little bit more food. Oh, and I've got soy milk from this morning. It's really nice once it's chilled. And yeah, that'll sort me right out for later. When I get back from the gym. So the gym energy level is quite low. Just gonna do a really light workout. Stretch a bit. On my way back, I'm gonna pick up some food to take back to my room. I'll get some uh, chicken rice porridge and this nice vegetable dish that he was cooking in the restaurant the other night. I'll get that to take away. I've got some duck to use up as well in the fridge, not a lot, so I'll just add that to it. Oh, action! There's always some action around here, always something going on. Oh, me getting run over. There you go, action. Now, I'm a bit old for nightclubbing, but from what I can gather, most Vietnamese nightclubs are like this. You've got like the DJs and the dancers. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm a bit old. You have to give that one a miss. Stick to a few quiet beers. So that concludes this afternoon's workout. I think there's a theme with the DJs here. Boobs and bras. <laughs> and we've got our little pool. And our car park. So out of the Bronx. Or out of the gym and there's a hairdresser. Off to get some food. Set back to my room. Beautiful out here. If you want to see traditional Vietnam, all you need to do is walk down this one street and you've seen just about everything. Brilliant street. Right, I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to go and see my motorbike guy as well. About getting my motorbike a day early. Picking it up on Sunday, so... I can put it in this garage here and then be ready to go on Monday morning. Again, to put gas in the tank as well, because that's... Normally they give you a rental bike with no petrol. It's you a little bit, you have to go and fill it up yourself, but... If I can get him to do that for me, that'd be great. So cooking the rice, got strong, strong arm. Wow. <laughs> Chow. Chow rau rau. Stir. English stir. Stir. Teaching each other English and Vietnamese. This is Na, who cooks my chicken porridge. Very nice lady. Used to be a boxer? Boxing. Nah. Boxer, yeah? Yeah. You wouldn't want to fight, nah. The beautiful boxer. <laughs> this lady's lost, nah, it's giving directions. It's all going on here. So I'm just picking up some more takeaway for lunch. The place I was going to go to is closed. <laughs> Unfortunately, I spotted this place this morning, um, and the food is amazing. That's what's that? Beef and cheese sandwich, hot. That looks amazing. I've got some. I'm going to come here and try some of these sandwiches because they're like higher level. Bread with egg and avocado. I've ordered. Thai style vegetable curry because I want some vegetables. That's 65, so that's like two quid. And I've ordered a rice with beef stew, which is 75, so yeah, it's like four quid for those two. But I also like the look of the avocado salad, that looks amazing. That's two pounds. <laughs> looks like it's got, oh, it's got tofu with it. And that's just avocado and toma tomatoes, tomatoes. Everything looks amazing. <laughs> really good. Wow. 
And they seem to take Polaroids of everyone that eats it. <laughs> I don't think I'll get one because I'm takeaway. <laughs> I guess you can keep renewing them, they're on the pegs. Well, I only ordered two things, but they give me bread and must be something extra. <laughs> that in total was 140,000, so it's like just over four quid. Come on, thank you. So it's just gone three o'clock and I'm going to have a shower and then I'm going to have a food feast. Thai vegetables, beef stew with rice, chicken porridge with duck added that I've got left over. Whoa. <laughs> Get ready to eat. So I've just tried that beef. That is so moist. So delicious. All right, going to have some soy milk with it. And that is a very healthy lunch. That is a great combination of food. Oh, really good. Washed down with some ice cold soy milk. Although, one of the hotel guys was a bit concerned. He says it reduces your fertility. The only thing is I don't care about that. <laughs> Seems to be quite a big deal in Vietnam. So this was a nightclub, but they've turned it into a restaurant. It's pretty impressive. But the owner of my hotel has told me the food's not very good. It's where rich people go. <laughs> They've got bad taste in food. It's Chinese style. <laughs> right, go to shop. So it's quite action packed. Out on the street been to get my snacks, chocolate, milk, yoghurt, four pounds, spent quite a lot on M&Ms and some dark chocolate, <laughs> special treat. Some people don't know where they're going. It's going to go out again tonight, um, but <laughs> I've got quite a tight chest. Too many cigarettes last night, I think, so I'm gonna have to postpone going out. I didn't used to uh, get a tight chest. That's what happens when you've been smoking. So the manager of the hotel just asked me what I'd bought from the shop. So I've got my chocolate, Vietnamese chocolate. I'd be interested to see what that's like. M&Ms yogurt milk that's it 